Yeah, guys, we are at the start of chapter 5. Some flowers never bend towards the sun. Let's load. And, well, uh, I guess we have... Uh, we have taken care of three parasites now. Dr. X and the pest control man, we never learned his name. And Ugly Betty, which Susan just used something. I guess it's a cartoon figu uh, figure. Betty. <laughs> and now we are... Uh, light switch. It's on now, right? The light is already on. Why should we... Okay, we can take a bath. First use the toilet or what? I'm not sure. I guess we just take a bath now, yeah. And chapter 4 was a bullet for Susan, yeah. One bullet was all we needed. <laughs> take a bath, pull curtain. Take a bath. I guess I deserve a long hot bath. Yeah, well, this time we take a bath. Long hot bath. Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. Um, I'm naked here, you know. Whatever it is, it can wait. You can. Oh, this sounds more funny. Yeah. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. A lesbian? I told you I had a boyfriend, Miss A. Both girls shouldn't get embarrassed of each other. Where do you get ideas like that? I don't know. It seems everyone is gay these days. <laughs> now, that's okay with me. Don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what I mean. Miss A, if I want to stare at some boobs, I'll take my top off and look in the mirror. Right. Come in, then. I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. Um, is that the reason you're interrupting my bath? Oh, nice. I could tell you I'm not really hungry, but I guess. Oh, nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that would be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. But really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? and it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. <laughs> Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? Yeah. So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You sad -o. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's 
called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, he probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. Could do with some company. Okay. Sure. Coffee sounds great. I guess there are multiple days. What she's saying there, I guess I will stay here for now. Spare bedroom? This is Mitzi's room now. I shouldn't go in uninvited. Ah, oh, no. This heavy rain making so much noise. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along, eluding myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. I made a map. This is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No, but I feel that together we stand a chance. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? What's this number there in the down right corner? 48 plus 197. Okay, we know that rude bald guy. I know that rude bald guy lives in flat 6. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. Wait. I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Ah, <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I suppose so. I think so. Okay. Let's take a closer look at him then. Okay, one of the flats is empty. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type. But I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbours. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And 
Why? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. Or nothing at all. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Okay, Joy and Ivy Davis. Our flat? We can cross off our flat, of course. Yep, good. That leaves us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Okay, strange noise is coming from flat number seven. The floor. The fourth floor. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming, explosions, guns. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. Hmm. I think I might know what's going on there. But it's worth checking anyway. Do you know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes, which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. I hate dogs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. No husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, she always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. Okay. Okay. I think that's all that we know at the moment. a pram. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Uh, I don't have children. Why do you want to know? I'm just curious. I like meeting new people and getting to know them. I can tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. You might feel so much better if you share it with someone. No, actually, this is another point where we can just pick what we want. Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? You don't want to know about my problems. I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Okay. Even for me? Ten years of suffering? What does she mean by that, ten years? Uh. Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, 
it was an accident. Uh, was it? You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Wasn't it a favorite mug? <laughs> okay. And still we have another one. Uh, can we interact with Mitzi now? Uh, no. Let's just, just proceed to the, to the door. Bathroom door, kitchen. Who is it? Hang on a second. What? Flowers? Flowers? Who the fuck is that now? What... What's that... in your other hand? Uh-huh. Go away. Leave me alone. Who the fuck is that? Oh shit. Should I move? Backwards? Oh my god. Who the fuck is that? Uh. Are we now? Is here the door to enter? Examine padlock. Three numbers. Um, was there a note? 48 plus 197. Means 200. 245. Is this open now? No. It's okay, it's okay. Locked, but there must be some way to open this padlock. Well, uh, three numbers. 48 plus 197 wasn't <coughs> correct. 245. Uh-huh. Okay, then let's just... This looks like a... Okay, are we now in the underworld again or what? Some strange version of uh, this room. Why did it have to be this room? It's locked. Okay, this is the spare room where Mitzi is staying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there someone? Examine? It seems I'm trapped in my own living room? Well, it's not really my apartment. I hope it isn't. Push? I don't think I'm strong enough to break through this wall. LOL! Come on! What kind of shit is this here now? Okay, just the same. Mirror? Wreck? An old torn up piece of cloth is resting on my coffee tea table. What's that? There's a knife underneath? Good. Knives have been quite useful lately. What should I do with a knife? A large butcher's knife. It makes me think about Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. That famous shower scene scared the hell out of me when I first watched it as a young girl. Strange, the back of the mirror seems loose. Could there be a secret compartment behind it? 
My fingers are too thick, I need something sharp to lodge it. Ah, I knew there was something hidden there. A key and what is that? A lever? I can see a small lever inside. It's already open. Pull the lever. Maze? What? <laughs> it's a homemade maze. Okay, a small key, examine. It's the key to the spare bedroom currently in Mitz's room. Can we equip this maze or what? No. Uh. Okay. I guess I have to use the mace here, what? What the fuck? Mitzi's room and now we're back here? Candle? There are three more candles for us to blow out. And every time we did that, something ha I Can't I go back or what? Oh, shh. Okay. There's nothing left to do but to blow out the candle. Car accident. Oh man, what's the game doing now? Huh? It's locked. Okay. Can we use the maze here? No, not here. So we witnessed a car accident. Maybe this has something to do with her past? Maybe she lost her... ...child? Anyway... We have a sharp knife and a mace. Oh my god, what kind of shit is this now? Or should we go outside? Monster? What is this thing? I think the worst thing about it about it is that it looks a bit like me. And the reflection we have there This is some strange reflection. We have a blue shirt. Okay. Can we use the mace? No. The knife? What? Maybe if we stand here? Let's just try it out when we are here. Doesn't work at all. But I can just use the knife to step something. I guess for now we just uh, leave or oh, wait. We are uh, safe. <laughs> just to be in the safe side. Junk. Okay, let's take a look. I can't see anything useful there, are just old parts of boats and empty barrels. It's hard to tell from the distance, but it looks completely abandoned. The ship in the distance. Uh, oh, wait, 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 there was another. It would probably just fall off apart if I got in. It's so old and rotten true. Okay, the boat which is just here. 
What's this? Some kind of fishing net or what? Strangely, we have a reflection in... Or maybe I should have used the maze at the monster. I can't understand most of it. It's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity 2? How bizarre. Minimum. Minimum passenger. So we need at least one other person to use that elevator. An elevator would it take me under the surface of under the surface of the sea? It doesn't look very safe, but it might be the only way out of here. There's no power. It must be activated somewhere else. Maybe that building at the bottom of the pier. Okay. I guess we have... We need to do something about that monster, which we can't see in the... In the normal dimension or whatever this this reflection in the background she's wearing uh, the blue shirt examine padlock I have no fucking clue about that number or maybe it's maybe it's 197 one nine and seven no no, I guess we should take care of this one then. Oh, can't use it. But I can step with the knife. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was just wandering around. Then I saw this... This net here and this looks like a tree. Number three. And this could be an 8. And this one looks like a 4. This must be it. 384. There's no other thing I... I guess it's the number for the padlock. Because I only have a maze and a knife and there's just nothing for me to do. I went all the way back. And something about a strange reflection and the monster in the background... I'm not sure. Three, eight, four. Okay. Again, the reflection. Oh, come on, maybe it's uh, time for another save. Twenty-five. Um, panel examine. There's a small hole on the side of the panel. I guess I need some kind of lever to operate it. The lever is missing. Never take use the knife? No. Okay, this time the reflection... Uh, okay, this is just the same. The reflection is not moving with me. There's machinery. I've seen this machine before when I first visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then it was my blood that turned it on. We have to shed blood again. Main panel. It looks a bit different than the others. Operate. Hmm. There's a noise coming from above, but I can't see what's making it. Take lever. Okay. It's a lever. I guess we can use that lever on those panels. And we have to move that reflection. Here's the first panel. Operate. Oh my god. What kind of shit is this? But she's moving. I guess we do uh, just use the... Lever again. Operate. What? 
Oh, I can use the maze. Ah, this is how it works. Man, operated. Now, this is how I can force her. Remove lever. Okay, we just have to... Does, doesn't really matter. Just have to use the maze too. Yeah, and then she will be forced all the way back. Come on to the machine. Remove lever. Oh, maze. And now put the maze here. Oh man, this will be the sacrifice of blood. The lever is missing. Come on, operate. Oh shit. Now comes the last one. Okay, I have to put the lever inside. Oh, whoa, whoa! now can't get the lever or the maze back uh what about her now there's still nothing here Okay. Hmm. I guess we just turned on the elevator now. And we just can go now. Power is on, but it's still not working. There must be something else I'm missing? What? Okay. Let's just go back then. This is strange. How can I get another person to this place here? Yeah. There must be something... About this reflection. Yeah, I guess this, this must be something here with the. This is so uh, so important how I'm standing or what? Oh fuck! What's this now? I guess we have now a second passenger. Yeah, she's coming with me. Now I'm finally here. What have I won? Where are you, my? Oh no, it's dead. Oh no, it's goodbye, dead. other world. Not a single sound reaches my ears. Maybe it's this.
What the fuck? <laughs>